Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm so excited because we're going to be potting up some propagations. And we do have quite a few plants, so let's get right into it. Okay, we got a fresh pair of gloves because most of the plants that we're potting up today, they're in sphagnum moss. And I don't know about you guys, but every time I propagate plants in sphagnum moss, eventually I see these little tiny bugs crawling around in the moss. So yeah, we're getting gloved up because I don't want them crawling up my arms and into my ears or something. But I'm honestly so excited to pot up these propagations. It's been so long since I took these propagations. So I'm really excited to show you guys how they're doing and get them situated in some new homes. Okay, let's start off with the most exciting propagation that I have right now. I literally check on this thing every day as of lately because it's just starting to look so cool. But it has finally outgrown its propagation station. So I really have no choice but to pot it up at this point. But if you guys remember, I took my philodendron El Chaco red propagations, I think a few months ago now, and they were all the way at the bottom. And as of today, they're officially poking out the top. So let's just take a little look in there to see what we're working with. <gasps> look at that bright red back. So freaking cool. The mother plant is doing so good right now. It recently put out the biggest leaf that I've ever gotten on it. It's freaking huge compared to all the other leaves on the plant. So when the leaf finally unfurled and I saw it getting bigger and bigger, I was pleasantly surprised to say the least. But I had propagated that plant and then I took a piece of the plant that had no leaves on it, like a little chunk, and I put it in here. As soon as it put out a few leaves, I switched it to this larger container and it's completely taken off ever since. So I'm so excited to get these out of here and see what's really going on. I can only imagine the amount of bugs in here though. Ew. Just one more look. Look at all those roots in there because it's so humid. That's why I love this little setup. Because of the humidity, the plant has been growing so well. So I'm honestly a little bit nervous to move it out of here, especially because I know it's not gonna get as much humidity as it's been getting, but maybe I should just grab it out. I'm not gonna dump this because I kinda wanna put another plant in here. Let's see if there are any roots at the bottom. Oh, this is fluval. If you guys remember, I put it into sphagnum moss, pumice, and fluval. I can definitely tell that it has completely rooted down here. So that's good. If you guys can see, I'm not sure how well you can see the roots. I'm not even sure where they are. Oh, right here. There's like a little tiny root you can see. So that's amazing. I gotta grab this out though, I'm kind of scared. I don't know where to grab from. Like I don't wanna pull on the leaves. Look at this leaf. Oh, it got ripped a little bit because it's growing past the lid, but freaking gorgeous. It's li it literally looks like it's glowing. I gotta watch my hands in here, so I'm just gonna stick my hand through the side like this and try not to break the leaves. Oh my God, maybe this way would be better. Oh my God, that's craziness. That's pure craziness. I'm gonna have to slowly pull it out from the top. And, oh, it's too stuck. It's too stuck. Okay, guys, I'm pulling it from the node. The whole bed of sphagnum moss is trying to come up when I pull it like, like if you can see inside, there's a, there's a lot of moss trying to come up with it. I really don't want to lose any leaves. Like, at, oh my God, like literally the whole thing of moss is coming up. Ugh. I just want to get it out. Okay, I'm trying to grab it at a good spot, like a good sturdy spot and peel the leaves out as I pull it up. <gasps> Guys, I think I got it almost, oh my God, I might lose a leaf or two. We got it. Thank God. I don't think I injured anyone. Look at this El Chanco red propagation. This looks crazy. Look at the roots. Oh my God. I have the same kind of setup with another plant as well. But this is an El Chanco red. Like how freaking gorgeous. Look at this. And she's super rooted. I kind of don't want to get this everywhere though, so I'll be right back. Okay, I just grabbed this plastic pot so I can get some of the moss off. You can tell it's really rooted though. Like if you look at the bottom of the moss, you can see a bunch of roots in there. 
how cool so i don't want to disturb it too much i might just take this and plant it directly into semi hydro with the moss still on it because that's kind of what it was in to begin with all right i'm i don't think i want to rip them anymore because i can feel the roots ripping a little bit and she's just doing so good i feel like these should be put on a moss pole should we put this on a moss pole guys so i've decided on this clear pot right here with a moss pole in there like that we got some semi hydro substrate like a pond pumice Lava rock, fluval, there's a bunch of shit in there, so. What side am I gonna put down? I'm just gonna put this side down because I really hate when the entire bottom of the pole is filled with moss because it makes it harder to keep the plant watered. Okay, this is how I have it set up before I put the plant in, like that. And then grab the little plant here. I can't tell which side goes on the pole. All right, let's hold it up this way first. I think this part is supposed to be facing you guys like this, right? Duh, because why would I put it on the pole? Wait a second. What side are the roots going towards? I really don't know. We're gonna have to risk it for the biscuit. Oops, I lost a little baby leaf. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure it's far enough in there. Okay, I think we can maneuver this after onto the pole. Or, let's see, probably remove some of this back mound so it can lay flatter against the pole. Just some back here. I don't mind the moss, I just don't want it to be in there forever, you know? Maybe all substrates are supposed to be mixed. Okay, now I'm gonna backfill really quick. I still think that's too far from the pole, hold on. Oh my God, I just heard another leaf crunch. Crunch down. Okay, I'm gonna backfill. Should be good for now. I mean, besides the big hole in the back, hate that. I'm gonna fill that up really quick. Okay. Just gonna add some moss into the pole. Where's my moss? Got some moss. I hate dry moss. Should I wet this first? Do I have water? I should have water. Okay. Moss is damp now. I'm just gonna drop some in before I secure it to the pole. I'm excited for this one. Like I really, really am. Hopefully it gets bigger. I want to have more than one El Chaco Red that I'm taking propagations off of, you know? Is that good? Yeah, I think that should be good. This is what it's looking like right now. I got to secure it to the pole though, obviously. BRB. Okay, and this is her all potted up. Hopefully we get some bigger leaves since she's on a moss pole now. There we go. I'm just going to give her a little bit of water. Okay, we got the first one down. And honestly, this container right here, I love this little setup so much, this little terrarium type of setup. So I think what I'm gonna do is put more moss on top and then put all of these corms in there, these alocasia corms. I did get two that sprouted up. This is alocasia sinuata, 
from when I transferred my plant from soil to semi-hydro. You guys can scroll back and watch that video if you haven't seen it. So the corms, there are a bunch more corms in there if you can see them. We have two that have sprouted and they kind of have outgrown this a little bit. Like I can't put the top on anymore. So I think I want to switch these in here. If you guys see these in here in the future, you know why. As for the next plant, we have a Monstera Albo propagation. This thing is freaking massive. Like the leaves are pretty big on this propagation. We took this a while ago. I just took one propagation from a different Monstera Albo mother plant because this leaf right here, it looked like it was reverting back to being a Monstera deliciosa. So I chopped it and the growth that it's put out on the mother plant, very, very variegated. And I was very shocked to see that the next leaf that came out of this propagation has such amazing variegation. This is super freaking rooted. That's why I knew this had to be in my list of plants to pot up because I don't think she's comfortable in here anymore. So let's get her out of here and see what's going on. I think it's gonna be solid. Every time a plant comes out solid, I just imagine that SpongeBob episode. I don't even know what episode it is, but I just remember him coming, coming out solid out of something. <laughs> Yay, it is solid. That's so freaking cool. This is what I love to freaking see. It's actually dripping because I just watered it probably yesterday. Like, it's wet. It's real wet. How are we going to do this? She definitely needs a bigger container. I'm just going to loosen up. Oh, let me get the bucket. Oh, my God. Yeah, this one was long overdue. I could have been potted this up. The roots were literally growing upwards. Like, if you can see them right there. They're growing up and out of the container. I noticed that like a month ago, honestly. So I'm very happy to be finally potting this up. Did I just snap a root? I did. Oh no. Oh no. I love Monstera root systems because they're just so strong. Like I never really have an issue with Monstera. It's just such a beast of a plant. Well, monster, big rooted monstera, because I know there's like different monstera. I'm trying to think of one. I think what I'm gonna do is just put it in the container and then put substrate around it just as is until it needs to be in a bigger pot. And I think, oh no, I can't put it on a moss pole if I do that though. Look, hold on a second. Because I really wanted to just switch it to this container if I'm being honest, because it's a little bit bigger. Well, a lot of bit bigger, eh, it's decent. But I don't think a moss pole can fit in there with it. I know a moss pole can't fit in here, but okay, change of plans. We have a self-watering insert in a self-watering pot with a little water meter on it. I have these linked in my Amazon storefront and these if you guys want them for your planties. But that's what we're doing because I feel like this is gonna get big quick because it's already pretty decent sized. It's already working on another leaf as well. So yeah, let's get her in here. I need to put the moss pole in first, maybe. Let's see if I can get it in without spilling it. That was a fail. Oh my God, it's going everywhere. Okay. Ooh. It did what I needed to do though. Okay. Oh my God, Archie. Oh, 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 oh. Boom. Uh. I think what I really need to do is just like with the other plant, there's too much moss on the back. So it's like a little far away from the pole, just a little, a little too far for my liking. Oh my God, I'm doing this gloveless. I just realized, ah, Bjobby. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. I'm just gonna hold it there while I backfill as best as I can. I think, yeah, I think it'll be fine. doesn't die.
go. How freaking gorgeous. I'm so excited for this plant right here because I know it's gonna grow up to be a really good elbow. I am going to be mindful when it comes to watering this plant because I know it's surrounded by moss and moss holds onto water a lot more than my semi-hydro substrate. The water retention is a lot higher, so I will be mindful of that. Just gonna give her a little water for now. And she should be good for the next few days or so. <laughs> okay, moving right on to the next one, we have my Philodendron SP Columbia propagation. The mother plant is currently propagating in Fluval. Not even sure how that's going right now. But this one has been propagating in sphagnum moss for a while. And although there's not really a new leaf, I mean, it looks like something's trying to happen in there. There are lots of new roots. So I wanted to get this into some semi-hydro substrate as well. I'm like, should I have waited until a new leaf came out? Should I wait till the new leaf comes out? Should I try to take the new leaf out myself? I don't know. I don't know, but let's just take it out and see what's going on. Oh, did I get the bucket? Oh, I mean, it's not that, that rooted. Should I leave it in here? No, I'm just gonna pot it up, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. These are all water roots because it's been propagating in sphagnum moss. This cutting was chopped right off of the plant. So these are all new roots. Just seeing what we got going on in here. I'm not gonna remove all the moss, but most of it. Probably this down here I could remove. Got some healthy roots there healthy-ish plant. I really hope this plant doesn't die, like for real. And I think I wanna pot her, she was in this cup right here. Maybe I should put her in the same size cup since she, you know what, fuck it. Should I, I don't know. Should I put her in the same size cup or should I put her in a bigger cup? She's not that rooted. I'm gonna put her in the same size cup actually. Maybe I should size her up just a little. Yeah, I'm gonna size it up. I'm gonna size it up, whatever. I'm gonna hold it like in the middle like that while I back fill. This should be good for now. It's a little heavy, but we'll see how it does in semi-hydro versus the moss. I mean, it was growing in the moss, but I really wanna see how it does in semi-hydro. So I will also keep you guys updated on this as well. Give her a little bit of water. That's a lot of bit of water, but hopefully it goes down sooner rather than later. Boom. Very pretty. I was shopping for the Philodendron SP Columbia. A lot of them were like really tall with one leaf. I want to see a good one. Hopefully I don't end up with the same situation because I really want this to be a beautiful, big, full plant. When I first got it, it was growing so well, but it's because I didn't fully transfer it to semi-hydro just yet. So maybe that's why it was still kind of in soil, kind of in fluval. Fireworks during the day. Nobody's using their brains anymore. Anyways, on to the next one. Okay, so for the next plant, we're gonna be working with my Alocasia sinuata that I thought was an Alocasia dragon scale, but you guys all kindly corrected me. Um, I have this propagation right here because after I made that video of transferring my Alocasia dragon scale to semi-hydro, a lot of people told me that when they get alocasia and they want to transfer them over to semi-hydro, they will propagate the plant first or just take it out of soil and put it in water until all of the soil roots fall off and more water roots start to form. So that's what I did with this little piece right here. That's what it's looking like down there. We do have a water root, if you can tell. Well, quite a few of them. Just a one leafer. I'm not sure why I transferred two alocasia in that video. And this one doesn't look the best. Like the one that we, well, the one that I put, the one that I put in this substrate right here, this little mixture, it doesn't look the best. Like we have a drooping leaf that's probably gonna die. 
But what I did notice is that it's actually rooting, like this one right here as well. So I'm gonna leave this alone and hopefully it starts growing properly at some point. But as for this guy right here, we're gonna put him into some semi-hydro substrate today. I feel like I should put this in moss, honestly. Like I really do, but I don't know. Should I? Are these dead? Ew. Should have been pulled those off, how disgusting. Should we just put this in moss in a cup? I think I'm gonna. I think this is going in moss, guys. I don't trust this in semi-hydro just yet. It's too, I don't know, it's a little risky. Yeah, we're gonna put this in moss for a little bit and then we'll check back in like a month or two to see how it's doing. And I'm gonna put it in a, ew, in a smaller cup. I'm gonna put in a little cup like this. A little bit of moss in there. Is that a freaking bug? You know what? That's exactly why I don't mess with moss like that. Well, I kind of do now, but why I didn't in the past. Okay. I'm just gonna stuff it in there. Hopefully it doesn't like fall over because that's gonna be annoying. Gonna fill it up. I don't think I've ever had an alocasia in just moss. Maybe my dragon, not my dragon scale, maybe my um Jacqueline at some point because I've been through all types of trials and tribulations with that plant. Okay, I think this is a good. I think this is gonna be good for this guy. Here he is right now. The moss is damp, so I'm not gonna water it right now, but I will keep you updated. Right now, there's no roots showing on the pot. On the outside, oh yeah, there's a little bit of root showing on the outside of the container. Hopefully we get this really, really rooted so I can pot it up and it actually be successful, you know? Okay, lastly, I got this plant in the summertime, like June probably. And I'm pretty sure I took this propagation immediately. I don't know what happened to the rest of the plant, but it definitely croaked. Can't tell you how, can't tell you when, but I did take this propagation and it's been propagating forever. Did I say it was a money tree? Yeah, it's a money tree propagation. And look at those freaking roots. It looks a little insane in there. So let's get this into a pot and see if we can get our little money tree to grow. There hasn't been any new growth since I propagated this and since it's grown any roots, so. Wee bit concerning. I'm also gonna put it into one of these little tiny cups because it's not like, they're not the longest roots, you know? So we're just sticking in here. This thing has been rooting forever. That's so crazy to me. Wow. I don't think I need that much substrate down there. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick it right in. And hold it in the middle and back fill. There's so much shit in this substrate. Okay, that's cute. Maybe this will be similar to my fiddly fig that I propagated from just a little stem with no leaves. That thing is literally over two feet tall now. No idea how I did it, but it's definitely my biggest plant accomplishment. Anyways, that does bring me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Mother of Plants and on Etsy at Palace of Propagations. And until my next video, bye guys.